Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to Peterson. Welcome to Peterson. The Peterson Air Force Base. Air Force Base. Air Force Base. Fire Department. Fire Department. Fire Department. trip I had planned and I just kind of want to redo my whole wardrobe uh, basically everything that I've kind of used over the kind of year span I kind of want to get rid of it start fresh start brand new so we're here at the mall with the guys as you guys saw we're gonna continue to, to take you throughout the day hope you guys can sit back relax and enjoy what do you think about this mall so far clean by the best mall I've ever been in yeah, it's super nice honestly we're, we just got to Zara we want to check it out what they have to offer this is way bigger than Zara in San Antonio, so hopefully they have some good, good, good stuff. This is free. This is awesome. Look at this shirt. Some jeans, a little distressing. And I'm, if I buy them, I'm probably going to take one of these patches off. And oh, I got also this shirt to try on. So far, Zara is looking absolutely promising. Well, of me wearing slacks is they're so baggy at the bottom and it fits so tight on my thighs. Like, this is crazy, guys. Honestly, gotta stop hitting like they maybe. Gotta flex out. Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> Damn. Oh. I say successful day shopping. What do you, bo what do you boys think? What do you guys I bought think? nothing, so. Damn. <laughs> successful, right? You saved money. <laughs> By the lights, so you can see what you do. Christmas every time we start locking as a all right, guys. So we finally sat down after three hours of literally waiting in the very cold, <laughs> negative 32 degrees out here. I was literally yeah, bare. Exactly. We ordered a queso, right? So we got queso and then we got chorizo, right? Spicy chorizo, a little bit of cilantro, and some jalapeno, right? So the thing is here, we bring it to you separate, so you just dump it in there, right? Dump the cilantro around, woo! And then, hey, do this, do, do a little bit of that. Oh! Then, Mix it. Spin it around and he takes it off. Sniff it. It's warm. That's warm. Is that the ghost? Ghost pepper sauce? Ghost pepper sauce. Try it. Good. What is going on guys? Welcome to today's video. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. So as you guys can see, I'm at work. We're at another day at the fire station. And these are some of the vi most exciting videos that you guys like to enjoy and like to watch and like to interact with in the comment section. So I wanna thank you guys for that. However, today is not pretty much not showing you like truck checkouts, showing you like a normal day in their life. If you guys wanna see a normal, like more specific more detailed day in the life then i'm more than happy to share that with you guys so you guys can see it's truck checkout it's morning it's like 7 10 a.m right now we just got on shift and um today's a very special day i need to stop rambling but let's get straight to the point today's actually super bowl sunday part two because i've already had a super bowl sunday on this channel at at work it's crazy how it felt twice but other than that we're gonna show you guys 
an amazing time, amazing interaction with our shift, and some amazing food. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video. And another thing, our station does look a little barren today. We literally only have the hazmat truck, one tanker, tender, whatever you guys want to call it. A lot of people call it different things. We have one major crash vehicle that's right here that I think is doing a little bit of training at the moment or getting fuel, one or the other. Then we have our rescue and intervention vehicle, which is this little other crash vehicle. I guess it gets classified under. And we have a rescue truck in the very, very corner and another engine right there. Um, we have one more. We actually have a total of three engines. One of one of them is out of service. One of them is at station two. We have another crash truck, including the three that I just showed you. One of them is at station two. One of them is not here at the moment. And then one of them is out there getting checked out. And we have Chief One, which is our command vehicle, and Chief Two, which is another command vehicle. Chief Two is not here. It's pretty much patrolling base and uh, doing its familiarization and stuff like that at the moment. Explain what you're doing, bro. Yeah, yes, doing a uh, daily checkout. You sure? <laughs> you sure? Tell your full name, birthday, social, your mother's maiden name. Dude. Out here at the training area, we got the first run engine. We're doing a little bit of CCPT, which stands for Crew Chief Proficiency Training. We have a new guy on 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 the truck. He's learning pumper which is the engine it's hydraulics and stuff like that so we have Godry down there plugging in his water source for the engine now he's gonna plug in himself into the truck from the hydrant and basically he's gonna be up on the panel right here controlling how much hydraulics PSI GPM and all how much water comes out of the truck For the obvious people who don't know too much about firefighting, I'm going to go ahead and let Godry say what he just did right now as the plugman on the truck. Alright, so as the plugman, you're basically responsible for getting water from a hydrant to the truck whenever we pull up on scene. Yeah. So what I did, started at the engine, got off the truck, ran around, grabbed the 5 inch off the back, Pulled did a reverse system. lay. Landed at the hydrant, connected the storts, then I had to wait for my driver to connect that end of the five inch to the truck. And then he told me to charge it. This is the symbol we use for flow water. Turn on the hydrant, and now my job's done. Now, now Godry's done, and in real reality, now he would be setting up, tri helping the driver setting up triage, maybe throw some ladders, take some tools off the truck, get the fan. So that's pretty much what we just did at this point. And now Harvey's learning the actual mathematical portion to hydraulics. So it's gonna be hard because you got a lot of pressure on that. There you go. So here you can just do this, preset, take you to 125. So now he wants you to see how fast this is going to suck down your tank. So once you get to about a quarter, you're going to want to, you don't want to cavitate the pump, right? Alright guys, we just got to the commissary and um, pretty much we're about to get off, pick up some extra stuff for the Super Bowl, uh, and uh, we'll bring you guys along. Just left the commissary, we're in the truck, we have some pretzels, some stuff for the Super Bowl, chili, cheese, and then we got some Girl Scout cookies that some little girls were selling outside, some Samoas, some Tagalongs, guys, and Harvey, Harvey literally went all out. Thin Mint, Samoas, Tagalongs. We're still out here in the parking lot. 
Not and those are the Girl Scout cookies right there. Currently workout time. Um, it's about two o'clock, but and we're down for pretty much. I know it got a little dark. But we're pretty much down every, after lunch since it's a Sunday. So. So it's a little a little dim in here in the hallway because all the living quarter rooms are off, but I'm on my way to the kitchen. Just got out the shower. Party already started. So forgive me if you guys um, don't see the full effectiveness of all the food that was going down. It's supposed to be like a super epic cheat day for myself. Been dieting, so we'll see what's in there. Ludo. All right, guys, so I actually came into the separate room to get my thumbnail because everyone was in there. And I, it was a little, little awkward. They all know I vlog. They're all supportive of it. But still, I don't want to interrupt the game. The game's going on. We're about to sit down and enjoy this epic meal. We got Domino's. We have some Tostitos, some buffalo chicken dip, some buffalo wings, barbecue wings, and some Wingstop fries. Those are the absolute best fries you could ever have in your life. Can get any better than a root beer float with a fork because the station is out of spoons. Oh. Gentlemen, Dang. called it right. Yeah, it's key. <laughs> the Super Bowl is, is officially over. The Patriots sealed it off again. We kind of, most of us here were rooting for the Rams to take it because we wanted something new, a new exciting spark to something else for a Super Bowl win. However, it's all right. We did enjoy the game. It was very good. But now we're cleaning the kitchen. We got the engine crew in here, which is our typical night to night thing that we do here at Peterson. Is the engine crew is gonna come in and clean the kitchen after everything is done for the whole day. So we got the dishwasher's about to take off, cleaning countertops, sweeping, mopping, all that stuff. So until next time guys, we truly appreciate you guys sticking along the rest of the video from the previous engine crew. And we'll see you guys on the next one. See you on the next one. How could I make sense when I got millions on my mind?